People think of Seattle as a green city. They may not realize just how green it really is. The city parks department maintains over 6,000 acres of land scattered throughout more than 400 parks and open areas. This land helps to promote a healthier urban ecosystem, as well as provide habitat for many native plants and animals. But there is something else growing in Seattle that benefits our environment in a different way. Among the bustling city that is a part of our daily lives, there is a patchwork of spaces that provides for one of our most basic necessities, food. These spaces range in size from small backyard gardens to community pea patches with over 300 plots. It is estimated that the average American meal travels over 1,500 miles from where it's grown to the dinner plate. Here at the UW Farm, students are working on changing that by growing fruits and vegetables that are consumed less than a mile away by other students on campus. Kamara and I are harvesting spinach for um, Cultivate Restaurant, which is a new restaurant on campus. We've been trying to start selling our produce from this new farm site and get it to actual student plates. We're doing a lot of greens today, spinach, lettuce, um, maybe some kale, and what am I forgetting? Arugula. Yeah. Only a few miles away in the Rainier Beach area, Seattle Tilt is working on improving access to local food in their own community. Right now, we are planting some corn into straight compost. So this is all the yard waste and food waste from the city of Seattle and surrounding areas. Our goal is to be able to show that organic farming and organic agriculture can exist right next to a wetland and that it can enhance that space. And then also our goal is to restore the wetland to a much greater diversity of plant life to increase the habitat and to allow it to filter the water before it goes into Lake Washington. And that's really the beautiful thing about organic agriculture is the idea is that it's sort of coexisting with natural systems and complementing them and helping them to function better. So this is a great place to show that in the city and in kind of a small zone the advantage that the organic farm then gets from that native plant community, whether it's like mycorrhizal associations through the soil that people don't even fully understand, or if it's just by all the beneficial insects that are attracted to your site because of a really diverse native plant community. I think this whole project was founded on ideas of sustainability to try to highlight and showcase growing food in cities, which are the fastest growing populations on the planet. Besides the environmental benefits, these projects also work to improve other aspects of the local community. We talk about the farm and we say like our main export crop is farmers. <laughs> I want to be involved in something that matters and actually try to make a change. And I think this is one of the best things you can do. I think a secondary goal is to actually feed the UW campus, but it's a really important goal. And so that's why we, we expanded into this site, not only so that we could have room for more people to spend time on the farm, but also so that we have room to grow more food for the UW community. And so this food, like we sell it to the UW dining hall, it calls through housing food services. And then eventually that money is going to go to paying for like student work study positions. So it sort of all stays within the system at UW. Last year, we think we grew about 4,000 pounds of food, which um, we're trying to do maybe double that this year. And the food goes to Seattle Tilt's cooking programs, which is Community Kitchens Northwest and after school cooking in five local schools. The vision of the space that we're standing in is that there's a social enterprise component. We have cooking programs, employment programs, and educational programs, as well as volunteer programs to kind of get people involved. I just think this project is really cool. This is my first day here, but I think people should get involved. At least come down and see what's happening, because I didn't even know this was here, and I'm interested in these kinds of issues. So what can you do to help create more local food in Seattle? We are always hoping for more students to come out. Saturday work parties are really fun or like weekly farm hours. And a good way to find out about what's going on on the farm is to join the listserv. The farm has a website, it's uwfarm.org. If folks are interested in coming and working with us and learning more about what Seattle Tilt is doing at the Rainier Beach Urban Farm, we have drop-in community work parties all year round, every Saturday from 10 to 3.